Hello Raider Nation, this is Duntov at the Raiders Allegiance Stadium. Today is Saturday, January 18th, 2020. So I am standing on the west side on Polaris. This is more towards the southwest end. So we can see the glass and the panels going up on the south end and the biggest change is since the last time I was here now they have they actually connected it all the way around to this west side they didn't have any of it going across here before so the stadium now at least the bottom level is completely enclosed in glass and panels so it's really moving along then you could also see the south entrance. So that'll be the south entrance. And then the super trusses, they're still getting all this, all the steel studs put on to get that enclosed up. And there, so that is the part that's holding up the whole south end. Those are the super trusses. And they will. You know, so the field slides out underneath it. I will try to get some drone footage to show the field tray. Because if you look at the live cam, you could actually see it looks like they're building pretty good. So we'll try to get that going and see if we could see anything.
I'm sure everybody's heard about the stadium authority. They had their meeting on Thursday and Don Webb said that everything is on track. It will be done by July 31st. The roof is delayed until May. That's the completion. That's not when they're gonna lift the cables. They've actually started lifting the cables again earlier this week. And if you go on the interior cam, you can see them working on it. So it is being lifted. Don't believe all the other rumors you're hearing. And uh, so it's, it's starting to go up. You know, but once the cables are up, then that's why we got all the other cranes, Big Bird and Tweety Bird on the other side. Those are gonna pick up the translucent roof panels the ETFE roof you know so though that will be set on top of the cables that's what's gonna take until about May to get all that stuff installed so it is gonna be done so don't worry about all the theories going around so this end here also it's pretty cool all this duct work they're putting in I mean, it's just major the way it's all twisting and turning on this end. So if you remember, they used, they had a bunch of all these, all the ductwork, like all the little curvy pieces. And you can see how they had to piece it all together to get it all in here. And then if we go down on this level here, those are all suites and things like that on the south end right here. But then we go all the way across, they still got some of this ductwork just sitting over here waiting. There it is right there. Pretty big piece. Okay, we're gonna look up and see. I thought I seen some guys walking around up on the roof. Now that I want to find them, they're probably hiding. Now there's some. All right, so what they're doing now is, if you look on the interior cam, it looks like, so they're, they still got to get the top cables. The, so the cables that are holding the top of the spars the white poles they got to get those pinned in first and then they'll finish pulling the bottom ones and that'll lift the top to make the dome effect and you gotta remember they had five engineering firms check over the whole new fix that they're doing the reason they got five is, you know, just to make sure everything's up to par. All right, I'm still on the west side, more towards the center. I just wanted to show the where I started the new panels. So it's looking good here. And then if we look up again, you can just see all that ductwork going around and then shooting up up here.
Okay, I'm now on the north end, street level. I'm just standing off to the side because, of course, the afternoon sun is shining right above the stadium. So they're busy working on all this. I can find them again. So this is the main north entrance. been doing a lot of stuff in this area could even all around like on the other side I'll try to get her getting forms up like it's like they're gonna start putting the stairs in then you can even see the rebar stuff going up on the side here and then if we look up you could also see the glass on the lanai doors from the side view and actually they're starting to build like a you can see this the still studs going up the inside I'm going to try to zoom in on the cable guides. We got some guys working up in here. Alright, so on the interior cam just a couple of the still shots you can see them working on this section it's hard on the viewfinder for me to try I can't really tell if they got anything hooked up on this end So this is the end of them right here. You can see like that orange part and see the sticking out right here, the out of the blue block. Those are the ends that they're gonna pin onto the canopy trusses. And that looks like a lower cable. So they've actually gone up a lot. They used to be hanging down pretty far. Yeah, we got the guys you can see they're putting all this rebar this is by the main north entrance they will have stairs going up you know to get up to that level since it's elevated up there and then if we look down we got all these planter boxes over here and they're getting all the bollards set up 
And then you can also see how the sidewalks are going to be widened down here. Camp okay, still on the north side street level. Just get a little better view. You can see this first lanai door. It's all set up. And then that's the permanent wall part over there. So it's looking pretty good. And see now it looks like it matches the rest of the building. The other day when I was here it looked like it was lighter. And it just depends on where you're standing, you know, because you got that whole open roof area behind the glass. When you're looking that way, it's a lot lighter. All right, I'm now on the Hacienda Bridge, North End. So from here, you can see what I was talking about when I was street level you can see how because the open roof behind it how it makes the glass just appear lighter but it's the same glass that's on the sides of the building but these sides have all the seating and you know walls behind it so you don't get the light that's going through it as much see all the cables again that's the big discussion all the time and the top cables you can see how they're really straight let me try to zoom in down on that end one see if we could see anything that zoomed all the way in I can't from the viewfinder, I can't tell. All right, so the main entrance. So the guys are working on getting uh, all the rebar in and getting it set up. Down in this area right now. But if we swing to the left of the main entrance. You can see they're already getting forms put up in here. I'm not sure if the steps go up on the side or in the front. They might go up on this edge right here. I guess I'll have to look at the renderings to see, but I don't know. Again, if we swing to the very northeast corner. Last time I was here, they were pouring concrete. So they got some more in because they were doing like kind of like every other one so they could do the finish work. And now you can see this whole side is almost done as well as this one. That's coming along pretty good. Okay, so that's all I got for today. So if you're not subscribed and you would like updates, please subscribe to my channel, Raiders1967. And I do the updates, I try to get out twice a week for the stadium. And then every two or three weeks, I try to get out to the main headquarters. That's starting to make a lot more progress, so I should be getting out there more often than I have been. So Raider Nation, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.